Today's topic is prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is cancer that forms in the prostate, a gland in the male reproductive system. The prostate is a small gland found in a man's lower abdomen, located below the bladder that wraps around the urethra and makes up part of the male reproductive system. The prostate gland is a walnut-sized gland in men that secretes the seminal fluid that nourishes and carries sperm. The fluid is important for reproduction. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancer in men, and about 99% of cases occur in men over the age of 50. Most prostate cancer grows slowly and may need minimal treatment or even no treatment. However, some types are aggressive and can spread fast. The cancer cell may spread to other areas of the body, like the bone and lymph nodes from the prostate. Prostate cancer can lead to serious complications, such as erectile dysfunction. Causes The exact cause is unknown. Like all cancers, prostate cancer is caused by changes that occur in the DNA, which makes up the genes in the cell. The gene is responsible for how the cell works, like how quickly they grow, divide into new cells, and die. When the genes that control the growth or death of cells are affected, it results in abnormal cell growth. These cells do not die when they should and cannot be controlled the way normal cells can. As a result, a lump or tumor is eventually formed in the body. Several risk factors for developing prostate cancer have been identified. They include age, race. African Americans carry a greater risk of cancer than men of other races. Obesity, a family history. Diets high in red meats and fatty foods and low in fruits and vegetables. Symptoms. In its early stage, prostate cancer may show no signs or symptoms. An advanced prostate cancer may cause signs and symptoms such as trouble urinating, blood in semen, bone pain, erectile dysfunction, discomfort in the pelvic area, a weak or interrupted urine stream. Screening and diagnosis. The screening test may include digital rectal exam or DRE, where the doctor checks for abnormalities in the texture, shape, or size of the prostate gland. If the doctor finds abnormalities, further tests may be needed. Prostate-specific antigen or PSA test, where your blood sample is collected and analyzed for PSA, a protein that is naturally produced by the prostate gland. If a little amount of PSA is found, this is normal. If an increased or elevated level of PSA is found in the bloodstream, it may be indicative of infection, inflammation, or cancer in the prostate. Diagnosis. If the DRE and PSA test shows an abnormality, further testing may be needed to determine the presence of prostate cancer. Ultrasound to evaluate your prostate gland. Prostate biopsy, where a sample of the cell from the prostate is collected for analysis. The diagnosis of prostate cancer is ultimately based on the biopsy. Treatment. If the diagnosis indicates low-risk cancer, treatment may not be needed immediately, but the doctor may recommend active surveillance. This may include regular follow-up blood tests, rectal exams, and biopsy to keep track of the progression of cancer. If you have cancer that is progressing or advances, you may need surgery, radiation therapy, or hormone therapy. Surgery may include radical prostatectomy. Radiation therapy may include brachytherapy, chemotherapy, and external beam radiation therapy. Hormone therapy may include treatment to stop your body from producing male hormone because cancer cells rely on them to help them grow. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.